and happy Saturday afternoon, everybody. We are currently in this blocking pattern here, looking at the big picture of our pressure systems. Uh, mostly, this is called the omega blocking pattern because it looks like the Greek letter omega. Basically, we just have that low pressure on the left and right side with that high pressure ridge in the middle here and it's smack dab over the Rockies bringing us above average temperatures. We'll see that continuing over the next few days here as this high pressure will stick around through Monday. Now looking at our current temperatures right now as of 3.15 p.m. on Saturday, we are seeing, like I said, very above average temperatures here, especially in north central Montana, 54 in Cut Bank, 50 in Great Falls, 53 in Lewistown. As we move south towards the capital city, a little bit colder there, currently 33, and as we move towards the northeast, a little bit colder there as well. Glasgow is currently at 33 as well. Looking at the remainder of the evening for future track here, we are seeing mostly clear skies here, plenty of sunshine today, and then continuing to see those clear skies overnight, which will allow cooler temperatures to uh, move in due to no clouds holding in any of that heat. So we are seeing those temperatures drop to the teens and 20s overnight tonight. And uh, with and with these clear skies and with some moisture on the ground, we could definitely see some fog form in the valleys, uh, definitely in portions of southwest Montana, but could see some fog in the Helena Valley as well as along the Milk River Valley of Blaine County. So definitely keep that in mind if you're traveling overnight or tomorrow morning. Future track here for Sunday, we're going to see another beautiful day. Plenty of sunshine, not many clouds out there showing up on future track. We are seeing some clouds starting to move in here by Sunday evening, but other than that, temperatures tomorrow are going to be in, again above average. 43 in Helena, 46 in Jordan, 50 degrees here in Great Falls. So looking at our forecast headlines, are we sure it's January? The temperatures have been feeling more like spring in those 50s and 40s but like i said we could see that valley fog form overnight through tomorrow morning but our next chances of seeing snow moves in on thursday with this canadian cold front uh, and also we could see some snow chances on friday as well so we'll definitely keep you updated with that over the next few days we'll have the full details tonight at 5 30 and 10.